I right, was good, y'all. Welcome back to another video, man. With your boy. Apparently, DDG had um a TikTok or a clip of him went viral on TikTok. What's good, YouTube? If you need these clothes, man, DM me. First link in the description. Hit me up on Instagram. Come money ready, man. PayPal, Zelle, Cash App, Apple Pay, whatever, man. Come ready. First link in the description if you need clothes. Be having hella sizes in, man. Y'all see what we got going. Y'all see what's going on, man. Hella sizes. Hit me. I ship out to ship anywhere, man. First link in the description if you need it right now. DM to go by before they all gone. They talk him saying nine to five should only be used to start a business. Which he is 100% correct. People like crashed out and got mad. And all type of shit, cause he said that like, so we finna we finna watch the podcast where he said it, and watch the clip right quick, and we, we finna react to it, man, and I'm finna give y'all my opinion on it. You know what I'm saying? Cause people out here tripping, bro. Like, hey, y'all gonna get mad because a nigga, a successful nigga that's trying to educate y'all, tell y'all some motivational shit, instead of taking it as motivation, niggas taking it as hate or saying, oh, I don't like this nigga. This and that, like, y'all niggas gotta tighten up, bro. Some people could be so dumb, bro, so stupid. Like, not everybody, but that's why, that's why I like react to podcasts and certain shit where niggas giving free game and shit. Cause like, niggas really need to hear this type of stuff, bro. Like, no joke. And I be liking to watch this stuff anyways already. Like, reaction camera on, camera off. You know what I'm saying this type of stuff I learn and watch. You know what I'm saying. All y'all niggas could do is take your advice instead of looking at it as hate and shit, bro. Like, go do something with your life, bro. Do something. Like, I know everybody in the world ain't meant to, ain't meant to, like, be famous or rich or have a bunch of businesses. Everybody probably ain't interested in starting businesses, which is okay. But, I mean, we, we need plumbers and goddamn, we need fast food workers and goddamn, what else? Dentists, all that type of other shit, like. If you wanna if you wanna work at Walmart and be a cashier for the rest of your life, then do that. Like and work at Burger King, but like you know what I'm saying, y'all niggas should have took nothing but motivation from this. You know what I'm saying? It kinda pissed me off that people really was getting mad that he said that. Like the only people that got mad is people that's broke and then people that wanna stay broke on God. Cause I ain't get mad. Yeah, to say that you I'll be thinking like this all the time. Think about all the money in the world that just being transferred right now. He finna talk about it right about now, y'all. Coming up. Account. Is you satisfied with just that little ass amount? Think about it. It's so much money being transferred. Millions and billions of dollars every second. How much of you, like how much pieces of that do you want? That's all you got to think about. I and tell go get people, that shit. I tell people all the time, I feel like a nine to five should only be used to fund your own business. Facts. Like, I don't think nobody you. should ever facts a job facts. and say I'm gonna be the ten year best employee of the year. Like nobody should ever think that. Yeah, because fuck if no. If you ever late too many times, they gonna get rid of you. They don't care what you got going on in your family. They don't care about nothing. If I'm the business, okay, get the fuck out. And you always late and you doing this, I'm firing you. Plain and simple. I don't yeah. give. I don't give a damn what you got going on because oh I know God, they don't care about your I ass. Nigga. Thousand applications, and they gonna grind hard because they need this money to to fund their business yeah. or just to work here forever. So I will tell people all the time, I'm like, bro, you can't be stuck in no nine to five. It's nothing wrong with a nine to five, but it's like, it's what you are doing with the nine to five. You shouldn't be working a nine to five to take care of your life for the rest of your life. Then they do little bullshit like, oh, we give you health benefits and this and that. Nigga, it ain't nothing. If you making your own business, you making your own money. It ain't nothing to go spend a hundred dollars at the damn uh, urgent care or whatever you got to do. Like, and then what niggas don't know is you can finesse them. You know? you know, my mama, bro. I make, I make a lot, right? Not, not saying them out, but when I had COVID, my mama was like, "Man, I'm gonna set you up for Medicaid. I have Medicaid in LA. When I go to the uh, been expired, but when you go to the urgent care, as long as you in the system." It take them like 30 days to figure out you don't. Just go to the doctor. 
overcharging yeah. for that prescription <laughs> anyway. I wanted to say this. Um, all these little, you know, places like McDonald's, like that, you can work there for 30, 40 years. You ain't, you only gonna get to a certain point. If you ain't gonna feel like you part of the team or you part of the business, why are you working your whole life at somewhere? Right. You have to get to a point where you feel like you part of something. Like, no, you don't want to leave behind nothing. Like, you want to, if it's, if you gonna. Right, nigga, you need to go use that money to start your own shit. Like, literally, like, you need to start something. Start selling some type of product or something, nigga. Or start your YouTube channel or start investing. Nigga, you need to find a, you need to find something to do. Find something that works. Even sometimes you ain't even always got to come up with the blueprints from scratch. You literally, you literally could use a blueprint for something that already has been proven to be successful and works and try it out. And that shit might just work for you. Sometimes the first two, three things don't work for you that you try. But then that fourth thing, you know what I'm saying, end up working. So you can't never limit yourself to what you could do and then don't let nobody tell you. Like that you can't do some shit. Work a job, make sure it's a that you going you know, be a good part of and they gonna remember you. Like, you know, you know, Vaughn was the, I used to uh pick Vaughn up from work sometimes. He was the top fry cook at Popeye's. Uh, that nigga said he was making the coldest. <laughs> I was the business. best, I'm not gonna lie. I picked this on everything. I had a couple every Sunday. They picked me on Sunday every every Sunday cause because of it i had a couple used to come in just for my chicken a little white couple shout out to y'all every sunday they used to ask me by name is he here is he here if i wasn't there they'd leave so Straight. every sunday i had to come i ain't gonna lie i bet no, 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 listen next podcast we're gonna get all the ingredients we just forget this liquor we gotta have fried chicken in the middle all right we have <laughs> fried chicken. Well, who, who gonna taste because he said he gotta we eat the on my life, on my life, I swear, I don't think it's a, okay. I can say this. Um, let me. I want to bring up this. So I had this analogy, right? And I, I said it today too. I said, if think about it, right? Let's say, for example, you upload on YouTube, TikTok, or you stream, you stream once a week for the entire month, right? That's four times, right? Yeah. How many chances do you think you will get clipped? Because all oh, that's what it is today. It was going viral, going ahead of viral, and then going clipped. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you do something once a week, how many times do you have the chance to be in clipped? You do once a week. Um, once. Like it's like once, right? But take it, uh, I call it like the DDG formula. If you take the DDG formula where he was 365 days, how many times could I be clipped? Yeah. I have thousands of times to get clicked in 12 months i'm you have to know me so that's the formula that i think like everybody if you painting if you painting four things a week a month that's you you getting that's look how low those chances that's like dming a girl right if i dm four girls one girl a week out of a month my chances is zero think about it how many girls do you <laughs> but no cap here? though no cap Rich, chat. poor fat no skinny. cap you, how many girls do you really have to DM for? Getting and this, this with anything, y'all. Exactly. This formula work with anything. When I was really trying to get girls on Instagram, I used to DM 20, 30, 40. No lie, this shit. Nah, I know. You I feel remember, me, though? I, I ain't gonna lie. I used to DM 20 girls trying to give me something, and might not get a response. That's, That's what I'm saying. Sometimes. Think of the world like that. Think of the casino when you playing blackjack. You lose ten times, but if you sit there a thousand times. You go, it's, you know, the odds is going to get. That's not a good enough. No, no, you I'm might, not you so, might have somebody lose their life listening to so that. So, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you play, <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like, take that into your, your um, accomplishments. Like, you can take a break once you become who you believe that you were, like you wanted to become. As soon as you look in the mirror and be like, I'm in, take a break. Because yeah. think about it. I was, for three years straight, I was uploading every single day, double uploading sometimes. Every single day. Not, I think I'm telling you, so when I walk up in Walmart or when I walk up in CDS, somebody gonna know me because my face has been seen for 1,100 days. 1,500 days you had to see me every day. Man, that's real. And I'm like, that's, real. that's not, that's, I see some people. Real grinder. Or like every week or once a month. Like how you gonna wanna be a streamer? You stream for an hour every week. How you about you?
They forgot about you. Because who? Deshay, DG, <laughs> Kai, AMP, all these is streaming every day. You got to see me. I'm so tired. I can't click Twitter without seeing it. I mean, even though these my real friends and real family, I click on Twitter. This getting crossed. Ten times. I'm scrolling no, down. No, don't bring that. See, they clipping. getting crossed. Don't bring they that clipping up. on like, so many times. Like, no, damn. stop. Hold on. Why would you bring that up? I'm just saying. Oh, now we got to slap it. Hold no, on. I'm stop. Saying, why would you bring that up? You. No, it, if you would have been there, you would have. Terrell, wasn't the floor slippery? No, one. no, bro, you can't. We not. The floor was that slippery. That was good work that you that you blamed it on this. this seat. No, it was. I, yeah, it was the actually. Floor, no, shit, <laughs> it's just slippery. No, the floor was, was slippery. Like, I swear to God. Listen, <laughs> did you lose? But look though, yeah, I lost. Y'all played like five games, right? We, I won two on two though. It was just like, I don't know. I just went in my element in that gym. Like, you know how it is at the crib, bro. I don't slip and slide, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to the court. That hoop there all the time, bro. So it's slippery edge. Yeah, it was super slippery, but that would never happen again. Damn. Curry won in Cleveland. Man, how how do you feel about like the newfound hate that you get? Bro, I don't bro, you know what's so crazy with the hate, bro? And it hurts my heart. It's just Dark skin women, bro. Really? I swear. Yeah, the, the shit about Dub and his baby it's mama not being together. There don't be no light skin girl. No, it's so crazy. I'm gonna tell you a story, right? What hate are you talking about? I'm gonna give you a story because I got the story that I want to tell. It'll blow your mind. On my life. I ain't uh, tell you something about dark skin, dark skin women before you, you know, continue. Mm -hmm. Darker the berry, sweeter the Come juice. Come on, man. man. It's not that, bro. It's not about that. It's Remember like that every whole time thing. I click a, a shade room comment. It's not a, it's not a, a a white woman. It's always a dark skinned woman hating on me, like trying to cancel my. I'm like, damn, we the same. I people. wouldn't say. Look, I would say, because you know, I, I get a lot of hate too. Like, I wouldn't say just dark skinned women. Don't, I would just say black women in general That's don't like mean, me. Black, but I'm it's just like you know, as a, the our race, black people, we always been hating on each other, bro. Like, killing. Yeah. Girls don't like girls, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's been like that. I feel like at this point, it's kind of normal. So let me say this. So I had, I had a video come out, an old video come out on TikTok of me and uh, this girl, right? Um, whatever. Um, so a video of me and her come out and it's old. It's like January. And I was like, no, February. It was like February. So she has a, Tick a Twitter with 200 followers. My homie is following her from LA. He's like a oh, street from LA. Um, he's following her. He reposted like, "All oh, my homie happy." I'm thinking nothing. I see it on his page. I'm thinking nothing of it. I click something. Tell me, just click the Twitter. See how much followers he's got. This got 70,000 followers. LA like a like a popular LA right. This go viral. I called a girl like, hey, you need to take that off because I wasn't even, like me and her was talking deep, but we wasn't even like, it wasn't like official. You know how you meet somebody, not taking pictures, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. She just ran, she had, and her, she has no followers. So because this post reposted, talking about looking my, I'm my boy finally growing up out here. It went by her going on Twitter. This girl, they, they put it on the shade room teams, right? The, the post, right? I swear to God. Shayron be on it. So this girl. They be on it, boy. This black woman. Damn it, shit. Decides to comment and say, oh my God, I'm so glad Brittany left your ass. That girl who <laughs> wants you for money. Let me, so let me tell you what I did. I always hope it's on the internet secretly. I, I'm going to DM you. I'm balling. Because if you hate on me, I got to make you feel bad, right? The girl DMs me. She says that, right? She writes it on a comment. And then she DMs me the same thing, right? Because she DMs me the <laughs> post with her comment. She was pissed. So I said, damn, babe, why you hating on me? Swear to God, I remember the whole conversation. I'm lying down. So I'm like, damn, baby, why you hating on me? She was like, you so wrong for what you did to Britney, blah, blah, blah. I said, I would have been left if I would have knew somebody like you knew me. We talking. I get her number. We writing on Instagram. Mind you, it started off with hate. I get her number. She tell me. If, man, I'm from no, no, finish the story she, first. Finish the story first. She tell me that she from this. I'm like, she, after this, I stop writing. After I get her to get on some floor, 
I stop writing her, right? If she's going to watch this, she know I'm talking about her, right? I stop writing her. I put up a post. Um, I think someone from Houston ended up saying something about me. She was like, I'm going to go slap him. I'm like, go get him for me, babe. Whatever. Right? After this, she write back. I said, hey, let me get you a flight to come here. She like, okay, what day you, I'm, I'm a, I'm a uh, substitute teacher, so you got to let me know I can come on the weekend. I'm like, Sheila, come on this weekend. Matter of fact, text me, right? I don't know what number I gave her. She texted me and said, the number said it was off. Never opened the message, never wrote back. That's when I realized that the shit is fake. These people that's hating is fake. This girl wrote so many times that she hated me, right? But was willing to come here to meet a you hate for the weekend. I thought she was going <laughs> the full <laughs> man. Hey, what you say? What you say, Chip? To meet a you hate for the weekend. I thought she was going to go the full mile. I was hoping I so much. I'm huh? disappointed. I thought, listen, I was no, thought I, this I, nigga's finna say I flew her to LA. You know what I'm saying? Like, hit him or something, or you flew her to LA and just. Nah, that'd have been wild as shit, though, for real, airport. for real. That. That'd have been crazy, like, chat. All right, yeah, let me. That's, let me that's this, normal, though. Like, you gotta think about it, bro. Before you got lit, you were a spectator on all celebrities, bro. Like, you would look at somebody and you, like, before I got lit, I was just a regular viewer. So I might say something crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just a fan. I would never think in a life, in 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 real life, that I would ever see these people. That's how everybody start off. Yeah, you got some other shit. No, I, I'm saying that's how everybody start <laughs> off. Everybody I'm a regular viewer. <laughs> just a regular fan, and you just you know you live in regular Dude, life. Meaning what they saying? Exactly. That's what you, that's what you gotta crazy. think. Like that's why I don't take it too serious when people be saying shit because it's been so many times. Not. As deep as your situation, where I'm <laughs> damn near gonna fly somebody, I don't know, like that. But like, I'm just like responding to people, like, damn, why you hating on me? Because you just did it, baby. And then it's all fun and giggles, like that. They just want a response. That's all it is. What's your take on flying girls out? No, nah, that's perfect. <laughs> um, I like to only fly girls that I feel like ain't been flew out that much or at all. Okay. I'm not doing it for no girl who and this is your thing, like you getting flu all the time. I wanna make you feel special, baby, so I I like I like any um, any no any uh girls that haven't been anywhere or ever flew anywhere, Vaughn's your guy. No, I dead ass. You. Do you I, do you that's do you, what I look for. I listen. like normal when I'm I'm talking about when you said sub two teacher, I damn near jumped out my seat. <laughs> that's what I like. Pharmacy, so, oh, uh, let me bring up this. Regular. I, I got to make this about me, bro, because this podcast is about y'all. Y'all going to have 100 episodes. I want to say this, bro. When a nit, when a nigga said it's about me, shade room people see me with a girl, they be like, this is only with him because his money. Oh, that, oh my God. Blows. I ain't going to lie, bro. Listen, 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 listen. No, listen, listen, listen. That blows. I be wanting, I be wanting to punch on niggas in the comments because you don't understand. Y'all don't understand that, like, on the internet, it might. I don't know what it looked like, but having real motion, motion around this bitch, like, like it ain't even on no like, not even on no, f but it's like, bro, we're one percenters. No. It's not like it's not like you don't understand what, what can the I long nights that took to get to this. Can point. I say something? Go ahead. Can I just say something, please? <laughs> I'm about, seeing please. It, say something about you, right? And I'll be like, even though like, please, even uh, like I respect the at you and now but i'll be like if we thinking about like we got it you got to go back like if you think when they do lebron little um when he retired you're gonna be like at 16 that was you get what i'm saying in the cleveland he was doing this i'll be like bro y'all don't be respecting like shit, I, just roster period i'll be like bro my bro was like how, how are we disrespecting this thing can't go that route <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> I mean, uh, you cut that part. But no, what I be thinking to myself is like, first of all, I'm not talking to no girl for no f money. That's the first thing. Like, if it's like a, it's like it's a, I, so all that do for me to have money is like a bitch with some ass. If comparing that to this nigga, dude, hey, just be yapping, bro. Wait, 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 wait. No, let me say this. Well, hold on. This nigga no, just so what are you saying that you compare yourself to a bitch with some ass? You do too. Whoa, 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 you think it's hell? What, what? 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 you talking about? You get what I'm saying? Listen, what the hell is nigga on? No, when you see a bitch with some ass, right? <laughs> he said I'm a freak. No, no, listen, 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 listen. When you see a bitch with some ass, you don't you give look. him no more. 
I don't even <laughs> have none. Listen, Take you look. No, look. Let me make this. <laughs> They gonna get the twirl in it. <laughs> let me make this. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> let me make this. Let me make this. Let me make this, George. So you gonna feel me on this? When you see a pretty thick, what do you look for? You, you what you you look right? <laughs> what we yeah. gotta say pretty Just thick. listen. When you see a woman, you see a pretty thick. Hello, and bro. I might get yellow mark. Just say. When girl. you see a woman, when you see a pretty petite woman with a uh, a nice body, right? Mm -hmm. You tend to look right. The only thing with a with money is is a girl tend to look. A man mm, it's not about a man mm, with his looks or mm. what he what his shape. It's only the money make you look. Okay. I mean, girls so do I, look at bodies too, like you know. Nah, well, nah, because I was I was probably knocking down the baddest when I was well, not baddest, but and now I get to that later. But that they, that's, they that's just make that them shape. look. The thing is, is on the internet I act like a goofy, right? I'm acting goofy. I'm acting. Re but then when you meet me in real life and I'm really saying to you and you like damn and i'm convincing you that i don't go on dates and you like damn and i'm convincing you bro i don't let people put clothes on my bed and you like damn and you realize that you woke up and then this this shit was everything you didn't think it was gonna be there ain't no funny bro it's just that's it it's just that makes them look that's why people that's what people think because they don't know what i'm saying One, to these before they even had some money they were still getting girls exactly. like it ain't what it that don't even make sense. I ain't gonna lie. It's so many analogies that can go with that analogy. Because that's how I think about, like, that's how I think about, like, um, watches. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like bust down watches are, like, just the big over booty, you know, yes. the surgery yes. booty, whatever. Oh, and then the look. plain Jane is just the. That's your wife. That's you know, the this wife. Is just that's the, the, what you don't this find. This that in, went in the gym 30 days of. A, a, a month but when and you work see, for the booty yeah, when you see dude. that fake brazilian booty walking out of whole foods i don't care who you is what you like you gonna look you gonna look but sometimes it's like why you do all but that? then when you grow up or whatever you start or not grow up but you just grow mentally you look at that big booty and you say you know what i want something more for myself exactly you know what i'm saying exactly. i want i know that's just for fun that bust down watch is just for fun i want a plain jane watch you get what i'm saying and then this is another thing i want to bring up right i be seeing people people be like man all you and your brother think about is money and y'all be telling what y'all do for people let me ask you this when you your mama ain't get you nothing for christmas you hated that lady <laughs> <laughs> well your daddy ain't get you nothing for your birthday you hated that man on your birthday when your boyfriend couldn't get you shit, you hated that Every money makes everything better. I don't give a fuck who you are, what you say, or what you believe in. When you go get done going to work, if you didn't have no money to go out to get something to eat after you go, you're pissed. If you couldn't pay for that Uber, you're pissed. If you couldn't go meet your daughter, get your daughter that Chuck E. Cheese birthday, you're pissed. When it was your, when you and your wife or boyfriend anniversary and you couldn't take them out because you didn't have no money, you're pissed. What are you talking about? Of course people go, like, that's stupid. Nigga, it's dumb. <laughs> I work now. hard to help my to have my oh family and my close ones to you don't struggle about money. Do you know how a different life is when you don't struggle about money? You really understand that the sky ain't blue and trees ain't green when you really think about it. it's crazy. <laughs> Man, I think a lot of people forget that we were poor. And you know, right. so when they when you when somebody get money you know, I ain't gonna lie. They be acting like they be acting like niggas just woke up and spawned in like spawned in like a Call of Duty match and spawned in with the money all of a sudden like niggas really be putting in work to goddamn get to where they be wanting to be. That's why everybody not rich. I calm down flexing a lot. You know, I used to be like super flexing, but I stopped because I feel like I just got older and it started to look a little childish to me. But I used to go to the bank, go get a hundred thousand dollars out just to take a picture and go put it back. I wouldn't do that today. I feel like it's just dumb. It it, it Ain't looks wrong with it, it. I know, but it looks childish. Like, why are you getting a bunch of money out just to take? Who that's cares? That's what y'all want to see. That's what people want to see because everybody love money. Cause money gonna always exist. She ain't gonna go nowhere. Yeah. People are always gonna want money. Oh God, the materialistic Plan, shit, but they love that shit. Yeah. So people gonna always love money. That, but that, having money is a different feeling that than go, being broke. Like that goes back to the this, the Chris Sales situation, right? Chris Sales make a video about me, 
and Wuop, right? And I'm beefing with Chris Sales because he posts my Wuop mama and say, I would never date this. This, this he said some compared to her name. So I'm like, I gotta get this. Let's right? think about this. Oh, oh, let me finish. I said, I gotta get this every time. I would, I would sit in this without nobody knowing. Cause he dis cause it's like, bro, that is a woman at the end of the day. Mm. You disrespecting this woman. Like you don't know how she feel about her body. You know how she, her, her mental feelings, what she going through mentally. And you talking about if this girl was the last person on earth, you wouldn't date her. So I'm going in on this, making videos. I'm finding out deep shit. So people was like, um, people, people was commenting. I was like, he's always talking about what he does financially for somebody. It's like, damn, let me ask you this, bro. If you hated somebody, if you never, I'm talking about, <clears throat> you didn't talk to somebody, you hated somebody, y'all didn't do anything, y'all didn't see each other, y'all don't text, talk, y'all don't have each other number, would you give them, would you feed them, walk outside and give them a hamburger every day? Or mm. buy, give them gas for their car? Pay their rent? Would you do shit like that? That's all I was explaining how it was disrespectful for, to me. Because it's like, even though we do share a child, and I do 100% provide for my child, I'm still doing for you, and I have something way else going on. Yeah. What if the girl that I'm with now, like, why the f are you giving? If you take <laughs> care of your son, why is you giving blah, blah, blah? But I'm like, bro, I got a good heart. I care about this person. You know what I'm saying? Not, I don't want them to go back to the Pontiac life. I just want them to be comfortable. It's, it doesn't hurt me to sin or do this. It, I don't even realize it. Mm -hmm. But then for somebody to go against me for a comment, for somebody that I'm beefing with them because... Not only they talked about my brother, they talked about both of my brothers, but they put you on their page and said, if you was the last person on earth, I wouldn't touch like, this. The, and she commented. Even this and, great and she commented on that nigga post, which is wild as fuck. Like, did he saying the dude disrespected his baby mama and shit. And, hold on, y'all. I don't even need this shit. These shit's charged now. Cause when I started recording the reaction, it was on like one bar. I ain't wanting to down me while I'm recording this shit. But what he was saying, yeah, she went in and basically sided with the nigga that was trying to talk shit about his baby mama, and she sided with the nigga comment under his post like, that's the ultimate disrespect. She was wild. She was wilding, for sure. That's disrespectful. Think, yeah, that. That so, was that was crazy, but you know, I, I we already knew about the situation. But I feel like you gotta be. I try to be unbiased in these situations, um, even though you're my brother, and, and I know how she feels at the same time. Like you know, it could be a little hurtful when you see stuff online. So it's like you probably just see red and see black and just say stuff without really thinking about what you're saying. But I don't think. She really meant it, meant it. She was just probably mad in that moment. That's why she commented that. Book. Yeah. yeah. Well, my baby mom did the one thing when she was seeing red, but she I don't think she'd do it no more. Cause it was so pointless. It didn't do nothing. She just was so mad that she did something and tried to hurt me. But it was like, what's the point? It's not gonna really hurt me because in the long run you still need me. You know. That's so what I'm saying. It's like no point to really argue with your. Old baby mama or baby mother when you I mean your baby mama or your baby daddy when you trying to take care of your kid together cause y'all gonna need each other people don't think um, people don't think that, that um, I don't know like I think I'm like a very supportive person I don't have to love you I don't have to touch you I don't have to kiss you but I would never let you drop down to zero I think that's important yeah. I'm a phone charger anybody can have I can't say phone phone I'm a phone charger to in phone. people like Phone charger. You never gonna get to zero. You never gonna fall. Everybody to comment phone charger. How do you in say the comments? It? Phone charger. Phone. No, say it's phone. say own. On. No, own. On. Own. Own. You don't know how to speak English. Hold I on. I can't hold say on. that word. I knew he was me. Dominican, bro. Hold on. Say on. 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 I mean own. On. Own. Yeah, come on, bro. What's the next question? Phone. 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 Anyway, you know what I'm saying. So what's the most memorable video or moment in a video from, you know, your content? Uh, brother, believe it or not, it was the Kevin Gates video, bro. 
Like, I was the huge Kevin Gates fan. He got me through the darkest times of my life, bro. No bike ride. And uh, I was like, seeing it in person, I could see them on tour. It was quick. But we, I went to my brother's music video and for to just say, like, man, I'll what you saying, you know, your favorite artist, and then knowing who up, that was like the biggest thing to me. Because I was like, damn. So how do you feel about Kevin Gates now? Because this be this be messing me up. How do you feel about Kevin Gates now? I, I, don't, I don't listen to Kevin Gates anymore. I, ain't gonna lie. I haven't heard his music. I listen to his old shit, but his, I don't really check it out anymore. It's because that was like my idol at some point. Like that was who I looked up to. It was so crazy. And I met him, and I was like, oh, all right, cool. That's the problem. Cool. That is the problem. It's like... That's what's wrong. That's why I don't want to meet you. I don't want to meet you because once you meet me, you're going to feel like you ain't really got to support me no more. Yeah. That's the problem. That's yeah. why a lot of I artists that win, a lot of artists that win um, in the industry because they don't even interact with their supporters. We in a different type of ball game where, you know, we streaming, we, you know, we YouTube and all this other stuff. So they see us all the time. But when you don't see somebody, it makes you want to support them even more. Like, put it like this. You don't know who made gallery department, but if, let's say, DeShay gave you his merch, you're going to pick up this before you pick up DeShay shirt. When you giving them free promo, right. you giving Chrome Heart free promo. It's because you don't see them. Now, if you met Chrome Heart, you met the made gallery department, y'all go out to eat, y'all go out day. to the club together, y'all kicking it, he giving you free clothes, but you ain't wearing it like that no more. Mm -hmm. That's the problem, bro. Like, that's why, you know, I'm telling myself this too. Like, it needs to be a separation in between because when you too, when you get too close to somebody that idolize you, it, it makes them not idolize you no more. Yeah, but that's why people, okay, but that makes so much sense. That's going back to the Shade Room comments. That is what people, because they still think you that goofy old your own camera making a vlog, not knowing that these, these words that I'm putting out my mouth, can have Kamala Harris. If I meet Kamala Harris, the president, I can have her do this. Matter of fact, Kamala Harris, where the camera is on me? Kamala, come through, <laughs> see me, DM me, the social service, social service, whatever the niggas call. If I see Kamala Harris, I can. It might be a. I can. It, um, it might be a what's what's the newest gun on um but nah we're gonna we're gonna pause it right here y'all but duh do got a point bro like when you having so much motion and done put in so much work you literally could do what you want and then nowadays some women most women have made it to the point it's just like a lot of them be having only fans and shit like a lot of women they they fantasize over money and watches and materialistic shit like cars houses, all that and naturally just be attracted to successful people like you know what i'm saying so i mean it's like what can you say to somebody that's successful you can't say no to that because they don't work hard that's why they always tell you work hard grind cheat goals then try to get the women because the women gonna come but i'm done yapping y'all a good little 50 minute video you know what i'm saying Make sure y'all watch all the ads, man. Make sure y'all watch all the ads. More reactions on the way, man. If y'all fuck with the podcast, let me know. And I'm going to record some more, man. I already begin y'all a little shit with Charleston White, but they begin that. They begin the way of ass a free game and shit in these podcasts. Not just in this one. It's plenty of them that I be watching. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let me know if y'all want some more um, podcast reactions type shit. But I love y'all, man. See y'all in the next video. We gone, man.